Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Nilaus and we are here back in our starting system. This is our now orange ball. This is the starting planet. This is all of our normal hub and then a receiver part. A lot of this stuff here is just not really you doing anything. Uh, but that's that's okay. I just wanted to start back here and uh, with all the stuff we built last time We have a lot of things actually already here And you can also see the Dyson sphere in this area is starting to be complete pretty close at least So what we want to do is we want to go to a new place because it is time for us to build a magnificent uh, and glorious construction of uh, oh, look at that. Looks really nice. It's very shiny. Uh, quantum chips. Yes, quantum chips. Quantum chips is just uh, the bread and bone of late games, so you need a lot of it. So if I build something, my intention is... Okay, I'm just looking around like an idiot for what I am trying to find here. And maybe you just use this overlay. So we're going to this location, and we're going to this planet called IDs of March. There. And we will go there. So as I jump into hyperspace... Right, this is where I thank the patrons. This is a thank you so much all the patrons who are supporting the channel and uh, allowing me to continue and do this and not be so so much of a slave to the YouTube algorithm. I really appreciate that and uh, it is super amazing. Thank you very much. Right, as we get to this planet, what I want to do is I want to make a modular design for quantum chips so that we can you can build it and you can stamp these blueprints down and if you want more, you can just stamp down more. Very, very simple. And can I hit the planet? Oh, yes, I can. Right, so what are we going to do here? This planet will have two things. It will have, of course, our hub. It'll have the lines across. It does have some optical grading crystal. That's nice. That will come in handy. And then it'll also have the launcher here because we also need to make sure that we have a... Uh, uh, get enough materials because we are going to use a lot because there'll be proliferation and there'll be Mark III assemblers all the way through. So we're going to use a lot of power. So let me uh, tap this planet and then we can get started on the actual design. And so we're back here. Now, this is the part I'm going to do. I'm going to skip over this part so that once I've built it once and twice, maybe even, then there is not much point in keep doing it. Uh, this is how I'm going to do all my planets. And I also managed to build this. This is absolutely my favorite blueprint. And just as we come in here, we are seeing the first deliveries. Yeah, first deliveries coming in. Great. And they are being uh, shot out here. And now we start shooting at the, the star. This means, by the way, that's really important. If you use this one, before you do that, you have to set up Dyson Swarm 2, 3, and 4. And I always set them up like this, maximum sphere, uh, and then have them sort of at orthogonal to each other. And we're starting to see the very, very first little teeny tiny bits. What I'm going to do at this point is I will actually find a blueprint that I know I have. And so at this point, I will be making a layer. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Um, yeah, it's not that big, this this one. We'll just make something that we'll, we can use and then I'll paste it into the layer. Please work. It works, great. This is the design I want to use and yeah. It's made by Everlist, as I've also been making the previous one. It's a nice little one. Uh, this is not intended to be like the biggest or the most magnificent. It's just supposed to be, hey, let's get a little sphere. And you can also see it only 122,000 structure points. That's not so bad. And we'll be, uh, we'll be making that. And pretty close to 1 million cell points. So we're starting to shoot things in here. Unfortunately, you can say that uh, this is not really going any, going very quickly. It needs to go into the Tegivara one, which is almost done. It needs to go into the Sunday Dubious one, which we already started working on, but that's a gigantic one. And then it also now uh, has to come in here as well, as I, as I enable it. You have to enable it before it actually comes in. So what are we gonna do now is I am going to create some space on this planet uh, in order to do that. Uh, I have done some pre-calculations so that we can get done with a lot of the designs here and, and just focus on the design work for the quantum chips. And I really think that this is a really cool design. So I hope that you uh, will find it interesting as we dive into that. Let me get to the, gather the resources, find some space to build it and lay down some concrete for us. So here we are again, uh, some time has passed and I've marked a good location here. We have, if we look at this, we have quite a bit of progress on this belt, on this uh, Dyson Sphere. This is great because we're going to need the power as well. So that is uh, glorious. 
Uh, we are launching some rockets. Not a lot of rockets, but we do launch some rockets. So that should be good. What I want to do now is I want to simply, quite simply make, basically we want to do the following thing. I'm just going to make one of them so that we get the idea. I'm going to make quantum chips so that I have 20 per second. Then I'm going to make all the other sub ingredients up to the point where I consider it just base materials that we can request from central locations. Uh, so for example, we are going to make processors. I'll actually do it up here just to, for, for show. This will be processors, for example. And uh, I also need here, we'll need some plane filters. That's the next one on the list. Uh, plane filter, good. So we take the plane filter that will require some titanium glass. And it'll also request some, some, some casimir crystals. That one. And titanium glass. These are just base materials I would consider. And here we are actually going to use that one. So we use the optical grading crystal because we have some on this location. And I feel that this is a good place to do it. So we simplify it a bit. Hydrogen is uh, just a random material. I think that we actually have in this location. No, we do not. Uh, so we're going to have to get it in somewhere. All of the hydrogen. That's going to be a problem. And then the graphene as well. And then the graphene, I will just make it here from fire ice. And I think we have fire ice on this planet, right? Yes, lots of fire ice. So no problem with that. So these are the things. One, two, three, four, five, six designs that we have to make during today. So sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. And uh, you are welcome to go through my math and uh, check up if it's correct. The way I'm going to do it is uh, in a following way. I am going to do here and that one and that one. And then I am going to also in this case get warpers because this one will be warping off the planet. And I disable the cargo count if at all possible. I want to produce like 10,000. I want to request 5,000 of this. Or request 5,000 of this. I'll just make some rules here that says if it's five, if it's on the same planet, I request and provide 5,000. If it's off the planet, uh, either request or provide, then it's 10,000. That's just how I... I do it this will be only requested locally like so and this here this will get request and there and of course it's not getting there because it's not uh, doesn't have any power all right so we did at least this one now what about proliferation well i'm actually going to do a weird thing when it comes to proliferation that i uh, really like but it's weird and for the time being i'm just going to place it out here and i might this is not going to be the final location, but it's going to be an option. So I'm going to build this one here and we'll just get a few into this location. I'll request and provide. I will get, I don't need, really need a lot, just a few here and no, no stacking. And I will get some power lines there. This is the reason is, or the point is that I want to make a location that will be down here. Tap, tap, as close as possible. Is that a good place? It's probably a fine place. And I'll take it out. There, and then this will continue onwards here because I'm gonna use that for everything. And if there is a product that has three inputs, then it will be output, input, 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 and then warpers or proliferators, but you can't have both. So I wanted to do this part here. Uh, that's actually not a great place because it's, there's no way that I can build it this close to the other one, can I? Uh, maybe. Anyway, so let's uh, let's do some design work here. And uh, how is that going to be? Well, I am going to... In all of this, I'm not going to go through the math because me just rambling off numbers is going to be absolutely horrendous. So I'm just going to build it in the right numbers and then let you know that this is actually the correct number. I hope. Uh, that... I think it's the right location. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to make here. This will be 16 in this row. And it will be quantum chips. Yeah. And I'll also do quantum chips on the other side. And then we just have the two inputs on these locations. Is that too far? Might be too far. And the other thing. I will do the same thing on up here.
like that. And that means we can now build that here. And then I can return. This is a very simple build. That's good. We want simple builds. We want like uh, modular standardized builds that just work. Okay, now the thing we want is over here, proliferation. Can I do proliferation in this location? Yes, actually I can. Yeah, and that should be now possible for me to drag it from here and all the way in. There we go. That gets, uh, takes care of the proliferation. Yes, there will be a quite a significant belt storage. Uh, this is not getting anything because I think that I am not getting, ha, huh. well, I'll go back and figure out why that's not working in a in a bit. And let's uh, get this one done. And then we can just copy paste it. So at this point, I am building 16 because 16 will be providing exactly 20 per second outbound since it's a on a six second craft time and with proliferation and you know all of those things right all those things together there we go and then all i need is just some power poles and that's the power poles so at this point everything here should be working i am demanding this demanding this but we don't have any of it so that's a, a bit sad but we um we will persevere. So let's start with the simple one. The simple one is the processors and we already have the processors. So that is one that we can just simply go in here and uh, take it from this location. Now this is going to make 30 per second and that's way too much. Uh, what I need to make it is uh, 32 per second because that's what much I need. This is 30 plus times two. So I can't just extend this one and make it a bit longer because then I won't have room on the belt without stacking and I can't really stack it when it's in the middle. I'm also again choosing not to proliferate this. That's just what I'm doing for this. Uh, there have been some good suggestions on how to proliferate this. I, I think I still am on my school of no proliferation with this regards to this. I'm going to stamp down the whole thing. I need 32. That is uh, 11 modules of the three. But if uh, if I'm really just being honest, well, how about making six modules then? Which means I'm gonna start munching on a lot of this part. And I probably should have uh, checked before I just started deleting how much I was actually going to delete. Uh, that means what is the number that I should have? I should have... There. Because that will give us exactly the right number yeah that one and I'm gonna copy it again actually let's check on this part to see if it's okay oh they're already inbound okay never mind you're already coming in that is good I think and everything is local you're not providing it off planet so that's okay uh, do I want to Proliferate? No, not not much. There. Oh, sorry, the stacking. That's done. And then I built the same thing over on this side. It's hard to see where it's supposed to be. There. And we built that. So now this is going to build the 36 uh, processes per second and that will fulfill all of our processes need we need for uh, the other design so we can proceed with the next design once we just stamp these ones in now the robots at this point are so fast that it doesn't really make sense to sort of do a lot of time lapses which i i think is a bit of a shame but maybe uh maybe there will be opportunities for it let's see how that goes uh why are we not getting any there ah okay they need to go out and grab it themselves why is this not powered? Oh, right. It's not powered because I... There we go. And this one should then go out as soon as we get enough power. All right. So we have now done half of it. Let's be a bit ambitious and call it half of it. <laughs> the other one is a lot more difficult. And uh, that's the next one we want to go to. So that will be uh, the plane, plane filter. Plane filter is really horrifyingly bad. Uh, one of the things, this is one of the 
only ones where people ask me, would it be valuable to try to do, uh, to make it faster? And the answer is no, it wouldn't be. Just make more of them, in, in my opinion here. So this will be titanium glass and it'll be uh, casmere crystals. And I don't want warp up because none of this is going to be warped in. So that should also be pretty simple. I don't need any stacking. A very low quantity here. This will be providing to 5,000 because it's local. It will be also requesting 5,000 because it's also requesting local. It will be that one, I guess. And there. Yes. Okay. Um, I'll set this one up. So, um, okay. So here is the problem. Herein lies the problem. This plane filter is on a 12 second cycle and I need two of these for every one here. So I, do, I need 32 per second and that means I need <clears throat> a lot. I need, how much do I need for the plane filter? I need um, 210 assemblers and I'm going to do it in a weird way. I'm going to try to make it a consolidated design. All right, so the first thing we want to do is get some output here. This will be the titanium output. First, we're gonna build a little design, and then this will be the Casimir crystals. Just keep clicking, Casimir crystals, good. And then I can take this on the other side as well. I think I have to take it here, because I need to be, make sure that it can be 20 deep. So let's see, this is 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, good. Uh, don't know if I want it on the line or I want it one after line. Whatever, we'll, we'll build it here. And this means at this point, I am going to get it outbound, but we're going to be a bit funky on the outbound side. I'm going to just drag the outbound side this way as well, and then drag it out on the outside here to save on. It's so low quantity, right? So there's no real problem with doing this. And then I can do the output again. Let's drag them all the way down this time. Going here. Yeah, some of it will be during darkness. Uh, we are going to build all over the planet and we are going to build pretty damn big. So some things will just have to be in uh, the black of night here. And I will go continuous no matter how I twist and turn it because I want to make it five five wide this is why I'm doing it like in a bit weird way compared to normal and then we can just fit it in here because now it's five times 21 that's two 105 and if I then look at what I have left then that is just two of these builds and then I have exactly what I want. That means this one can be contained within a planetary sector and then I can just go on and build the other thing on the other side. That is glorious. So uh, we are again going to be getting... S nope. Always take the top one first. Like that and that. Yes. And we are going to build here. This will be plane filter. Copy it to the other ones. And then see if I can figure out a way to do this. I am going to take like the middle ones. In, 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 in. And then you're going out there. This will be here. And this will be here. And you will also be here. Good. So let's get all of that done. I love the dragging these belts so... This is my favorite thing. You can also just build a small thing and then do copy paste. But damn, this is just so much nicer. This is the best feature. I wish that was in Factorio and Satisfactory. This is just the best. And also the way the dragon belts, absolutely amazing. So let's put in a few, a uh, few power bolts and then uh, get on with it. And that's the last power pole. And this should be good. What all the only thing I need is I need to make sure that we have our location down here. It is going to be 
There. And then I can just drag it from the previous one. And we go in. Come on. It's weird why it's not possible. Are they not aligned? There you go. Just just uh, needed a bit of forcing here. Alright, so that's not working. And uh, I will need to make two of these. But I also want to figure out why I have problems with my... Uh, with my uh, blue... Let's go. Blue spray. So uh, I'll just figure out what the problem is with the blue spray. And then we'll... Uh, we'll continue after this one so now this one is done and you can see the long glorious blue lines here there was actually a problem that we're running out of coal in our galaxy so we had to uh, fix that i have set these up they're requesting and this one is also just requesting locally and it is all good now this uh, is the 210 assemblers needed to build our plane filters and that means we can move on to the casimir crystal which is another thing that's usually haunting people and giving you nightmares but not really anymore it's uh it's not that bad actually i didn't i don't think we really need to worry about it too much so the thing is for this one it's just one casimir crystal into one plane filter so if i need to output 32 of these then i need to input 25.6 here, so the output of the Casimir Crystal has to be 25.6 uh, outbound. That's the, yeah, that's how we do it. So that means I can do uh, something quite simple. We are going to do, oh, right. We're going to do Casimir Crystals and we have our options for Casimir Crystals. That is, we're going to get a lot of hydrogen. We are going to get some graphene and we are going to get some uh, organic crystals. Yes. This one will be requested locally and globally, actually, just in case. This will be local only. Uh, local only, yep. And this will be local and global. Uh, I am going to take that one, and I'm going to keep this stacking up because we are going to need some stacking here. Not as much, though, but I think we do need some stacking for the hydrogen. And also, let's get these in. Oops, yeah, so that that's done. And I will just start doing my input outputs and the first input output let's do the hydrogen first because that's the main one let's see we'll just get it down here and then i'll take it back at this point yeah and let's get here so what I, how many i need well i need 14 that's 15 that's 14 <clears throat> this will be 42 and that will give us exactly what we need and this is here you are welcome to do the to check up on my mouth it should be solid as if uh i mean says the guy who can barely count to six so uh yeah you can trust me on this or you can also do the calculations again and here and what's the other one that's this one and you can then be built on the outside and the outside. The reason why I'm doing it this way is because I then have the option of getting you back here. Getting the hydrogen out on the back side. So we have more lanes of hydrogen here because the hydrogen will be the one that is needed the most. So let's make sure that we have more lines of hydrogen here. That one. And return. This is a good example of where, <clears throat> if since I am going to use warpers in this location, uh, because I need to be able to warp in some more hydrogen if I at all want any of this. So we'll uh, we'll do that. I have also set up in one of these locations, set up to request hydrogen inbound and also request. Oh, it's actually providing. It should be maybe requesting because we're going to be using a lot. And let's see. That's this is good. So <clears throat> just input. In, 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 in. And then on this side, uh, input, output, input, output. Good. You can go out there, you can go here, and then you can go back there. Good. And we just drag it to 14. Set. And the power. Power sorted. 
Now I'm going to proliferate it. There is an argument for not proliferating because you're proliferating hydrogen, which is a free resource. So I thoroughly concede the point that yes, you can choose not to do that. I am going to do it because I feel that the value of my optical grading crystal is so high that I want to get more optical grading crystal. And if that means I need to, uh, to proliferate some extra things, then I will do so. Uh, the funny thing is I am actually running out of proliferation, so that's uh, less, uh, less ideal, but hopefully with the few things I did to upgrade, to upgrade that, it's, hopefully it'll, it'll keep going. But I do think I need to tap a few more planets that have some coal. Uh, coal is a very, very precious resource in uh, after the latest release with proliferation. And it's not as abundant as you might think. That is at least until we have more productivity gain here. Uh, let's look at that as well. We can just go down here and say, I'm already up to level 13 or level 12 actually. So this is done. That is, uh, I think this is super amazing. We'll start by uh, requesting all these inbounds. I will request this inbound. I will request this Oh, first request it here. And we will not supply it out off this planet. None of what we do here will be going off the planet except the final product. And that's already done. And then I can also tap the last one. Perfect. And of course, it's not going to work until we get the last thing. And the last thing is going to be... Uh, let's see. <clears throat> this is one that we have already. So we should to find it that graphene because uh, some people have already complained that I've been building it too many times here on screen yeah that and that's kind of that's kind of understandable there we go so we just stamp it down here this is producing 44 and let's make sure that we get everything inbound here and here uh, it will need to it's storing a lot of hydrogen but that's not a problem it's really going to be consumed next door so it's never going to be a real problem we'll get the fire as inbound as fast as we can and then we'll get all this i am not proliferating this because it's fire ice and fire is dirt cheap i am wondering oh that's a bit of a shame i should get the fire ice from here actually there we go look at that i already have the fire ice yeah we want to get it we want to get it going there's no point in bringing it in from other planets planets when we already have like tons of it locally so we want to get the local consumption in first there Let's see the whole thing come online. And I think the whole thing will come online right now. Uh, we are going to see. Okay. Now we just monitor as it goes. I will get the first delivery of graphene coming in. Graphene comes in. And that kickstarts our, uh, our Chasmia crystals production. I have a lot of, lot of stuff in here. So this is good. Building up a big buffer before we even get started is a good idea. And you can see this will be the limiting factor at this point. I need, how much do I need? I need 42 needed inbound, inbound here. That's okay. We are getting the first Casimir crystals coming out. Let's find if I can find the where the first Casimir crystals are going. That probably may be coming to pick up the first Casimir crystals. Yep, it did. And then that's the Casimir crystals. Some. Funny how some things have colors and some things do not have colors. There we go. First Casimir crystals coming in. I forgot the titanium. I forgot the titanium glass. I'm such an idiot. I for I knew there was something I forgot. Ah, come on. Let's do the titanium glass now. <laughs> well, it really should be moved. It should. I'd really like to have the titanium glass here. Oh well, beggars can't be choosers. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make some titanium glass here. That's also kind of in the way. Ah, you know what? I'm going to move it and so we can put it into the right place. Yeah, let's move it. Okay, so now I've moved it and I have this little tiny space available. So uh, I can only hope <clears throat> and and hope to my calculation skills that I have left enough space for me to make titanium glass. Titanium glass is a weird beast. It's titanium. Uh, it's titanium, it's glass, and then it's some water. Now, all of these things I have, the, actually the biggest problem is water, but on, this, but on this planet actually has a bit of water. So I've also uh, went ahead and tapped some water here and a few other places there and there. So we actually have water locally. That's quite nice. Uh, that means I'm going to take it here. I don't even think I want to take it anywhere else because, well, I don't think so. That makes sense. 
I am going to take this. This is going to be from an external source as well. Uh, there, because I know that I have built it over at, remember, the place where we had a Barthag system with 55 million uh, stone. That's where we also make glass. Makes sense, right? Since that's where we have a lot of it. And that means this one has to also request some warpers. There we go. And we're not going to switch the other ones. This will, you know what, I'll actually set it up to 10,000 just because... There, and then have all of these being request and provide local and global, except that one. Now, this um, this needs to output output 52 needed, so that is going to be 4 times 18 inbound here. And I'm going to be making a really straightforward build. I'm going to take the least valuable here, because there will be 3 lines of this. And I think it has to be like a really, really big one. And then it goes back. Oh, it's 18. Oh, 18 is not that bad. Yep. This will be titanium. Titanium glass. And let's just drag it down to see how big it is. That's 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, let's knock this one off. And the other one will be... Yeah. And then again, we have this design already sort of templated so many times. I could do a copy-paste, but I... I always think that then if I do copy paste for these kind of things, then I end up also having to change the inputs and outputs. And I just feel that this is this is easier. And the way that belts are drawn in Dyson's program is, dare I say, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Love it. It's so easy, just these belts here. It is so easy. And then let's see, it is the first one will be the one going back. That'll be here. And then we'll have water on the back side there. That's all of the all of that. And then we just have the inputs and outputs as usual. And they will be in, out, in, out, in, 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 in. Hardest part is just lining it on top there. That one, and next. So this is four times 18, and that gives us exactly as much as we need for this. There we go, and <clears throat> let's put some power poles because that's kind of needed. And that's the power poles getting taken care of, and I will then take all the inputs and outputs, and they'll be exactly where they've been before. And yes, we're proliferating stuff like water, I know. But, you know, you either proliferate at all or you don't proliferate at all. So, we'll, we'll do this way. Here we go. We get the proliferation in. And I am ready to hook this up and then just get it started. So, I am going to... Well, I don't have anything local here. I don't have anything local here. I'm going to take that as local. Just get all of that in. And the other ones will go remote, remote... And once this one's, then I can also do remote. Great. Okay, look at that. It's almost empty, almost empty uh, inventory. Let's have a look at all the other things that are being built. Let's see if it works. This one is building up some graphene because we are not consuming it later on. Uh, this graphene goes in here. Uh, we are ha having issues with the optical grading crystals. Now, uh, what I want to do is actually I want to reverse it. Uh, this one is not it. Uh, this one though. What if I reverse it and say you are going to go in here and then I can also request it inbound. Uh, I don't need to request it actually. I just need to not provide it from this planet. This planet should not be sending it out of the world here. Good. So we should now have enough because we're bringing it in. And over on, because if we look at it, uh, this started at 500,000 is already down to 300. It's going to disappear quickly even though our... Here is... We're around 50%, I think. Ore mining, we're only consuming 48%, but that's that's okay. We are going to wait for this one to come in, but we can check the other things before. Everything is good here. There's a lot of nice casimir crystals. It's really nice to see how many casimir crystals we've stockpiled. Ah, that's good. It's actually nice. So we'll wait for this one to come in, and then we'll see if it, uh, if it actually works, and then we can follow the production all the way through. 
there we go that was uh, one of them coming in that was the titanium i suspect that titanium is actually coming in from closer than glass because glasses if we just cast a glance out here in our vast vast world then it's actually all the way out from here and that one this is where i get the glass from so yep it is going to take a lot of time oh we can actually have a look at how this uh this looks it's it's getting there this is the biggest one so it's gonna take a while also let's have a look at oh look at that it's working we get the first glass titanium glass here so let's uh don't have 10%, definitely not 10%, always have 100%. And there we go, that's now being transported. We are getting something in here? Or is it in here? Okay, so for some reason this one comes in first. I wish there was some kind of self-balancing thing between. I have one. <laughs> Alright, that was 1,000 coming in, that's weird. How is that 1,000 1, coming in? Oh, right, because this one really starts working I guess yep that's come mm. what the hell give me titanium glass okay you're apparently getting the 1000 you are not getting a damn thing they should be the same they should get evenly but for some reason I think that might be just the way that things are iterated through inside the algorithm um, let me just get that in here. No, in here, just because we need it. But in any case, we are getting some. And we are getting some... Uh, some plane filters. Let's wait for this one to go up to 200. It's going pretty quickly now, so that's good. I think this one will have to sort of fill up before the other one even gets into action. And there we go. Plane filters are coming in. And yeah, we are actually making the very first few quantities of uh, of quantum chips and then when the sun starts it's only it has to go up to 2000 before it even ships out and then it'll ship out to basically back home to the original planet where we do want a few more of these and that will, will actually get us the uh, get us the quantum chips and the quantum chips will be a key ingredient into what we're going to build next and that's going to be the small carry rocket because there's no point in making small carry rockets unless you have a stable production of quantum chips so that's why we did quantum chips now uh, I am really happy with how this is working. If we look at it, uh, everything here is only taking one third of uh, of this, and that means I can take multiply by one, two, so we can have three times as much. This is twenty, so I can get it all the way up to sixty. All I need to do is just copy these blueprints, one down, and then one bar down, and then have this part as well. Stamp it there and stamp it there. So easily room for it. It could even if I want to sort of remove all of the other builds i could get it up to 120 quantum chips per second from a single planet it could even be more but 120 quantum chips per second is a pretty decent number however there's no point in making that until we have a lot more power coming in from this one we do have some power now that 5 uh, 5.27 gigawatt it's something we're seeing here this is i think this is where we start actually really consuming a lot or maybe there was just a drought in in stuff coming in and let's see if we look at this. Uh, we have built, it's 102,000 and the first 8,000 have been shipped in. It's not a lot, but it'll it'll get there. So that's, in. until then, we're gonna keep launching solar sails just to keep the power up on this planet. And uh, I think the power shouldn't be a problem. Oh, shoot, it is a problem actually. So as you can see, I can't just double it and double it until we have a better Dyson ship. And the Dyson ship gets better once we have more carrier rockets. Carrier rockets requires more quantum chips. So we built the quantum chips in order to make more the small carrier rockets in order to be able to scale up this one to make more quantum chips. Yep, that's the endless cycle of any factory games. I love it. I hope you love it as well. If you if you do, be sure to hit the like button. I appreciate that uh, there are so many likes and also so high ratio of likes. Thank you very much for that. It helps with the discovery of uh, the videos here on YouTube, so that's always nice. If you've been watching all the way through and you're not subscribed, well, consider subscribing because there's lots of good stuff coming to uh, the channel, lots of factory games, lots of other things, Elden Ring, for example, coming very, very soon. So I will see you guys uh, here on YouTube or maybe on Twitch. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. And as always, stay effective.